in some capacity kidnaps somebody or has somebody kidnapped. But somebody just like lost it. I almost feel like somebody buried alive or something. Or just caged in some way. Why does it being pulled out? Could be like a mother and a child or something. Yeah, so it's some it's some type of foundation again within some type of marriage. But you know what? A part of this, and it could be connected or maybe not, feels like a confidential informant, like a mur uh unalive and for hire um um even like a sting or something disturbing video as police rescue two small children discovered locked in a cage the two adults who live there now behind bars themselves thanks for joining us at six i'm brian loftus i'm denise Faldet. and we do want to warn you that this video is hard to watch police say they found six children with their bloodied hands the fbi says her bravery and grit has probably saved the lives of other women 29 year old nagazi zuberi of oregon is now in custody He's accused of kidnapping the woman in Seattle last month while posing as a police officer. After that victim escaped his home, she flagged down a driver for help. Uh, uh, the intended target lived lived at a particular address. Um, you know, th that to me is a red flag. I mean, if that information is corroborated, then obviously there's something more that needs to be looked at. And that's form. She wanted a hitman to get something done once and for all, adding she wanted the boy taken away far, far away and possibly killed by Thursday. Bye. Breaking news from overnight, a major drug bust at a warehouse in southwest Houston. This happened on Clarewood Drive around 730 last night. HPD responded to reports of a male being suspicious with a gun, but when they pulled up, they found a boxing match with around 500 people inside. Something big is definitely found, <clears throat> whether that's people, drugs. Oh, it's some type of sting or a raid or... Um, I'm getting like zombie energy too. I'm seeing like something new found. I'm not sure what it is. It could be some... Hmm. Something new found in like different parts of the world. Something about that. Okay. Somebody with an OD. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I keep feeling like some type of boat. burglary. And... More stuff about like overseas surgeries. The yeah, unalive myself thing too, some type of OD. It, it remind me of, it, it remind me of Twitch because it almost feels like somebody, and I could be off, but it feels like somebody go somewhere else to like unalive themselves or something. Black sparks concern as video surfaces of him being rushed to the hospital. In a video posted on TikTok. It shows rapper Kodak Black being wheeled into a hospital on a stretcher, accompanied by the caption, pray for Kodak. The video quickly went viral. Leave yeah, I don't know if this is like some type of tornado and or it includes water. But then I'm also seeing like, I mean, it's Florida, so we know it's hot, but it could definitely be like a heat wave for sure. Uh. <sighs> Relentless wild Casters expect California and Arizona to reach new record highs as this dangerous heat wave 
expands across the country. Heat wave, and of course, unrelenting grip on the country. We've been experiencing this. Nearly a third of the U.S. population now under heat alerts, dealing with sweltering temperatures. Just stumbled across something. Look at that view. That's a big one. Yeah, it's like so sucking, um, like sucking the light out of people or just out of that place, like using the energy of Florida for something. Tell me more about that. Siphoning of energy, um, specifically female, attacks on female. It's a lot of, um, for lack of a better word, like sacrifice energy going on. Specifically with celebrities, I believe we mentioned. Um, but it's everybody. But of course, that's how media go. Like I said, there's a lot of <clears throat> things being. And again, it's, it's this energy of like waiting for like. Yeah, it's like. Either the lights and or the sun is like really dim, but again, like it's a, a dark cloud hanging over for months. We've been talking about serial killers and it's been at least two that I'm aware of that have been uncovered. Um, and yeah, it's something like that too. And yeah, it's something like that too. It's like somebody like emitting to having a lot of bodies and like showing the police where they are. Mistaken identity for something. Like it's almost like doppelganger energy, but also mistaken identity. So this also or could be something about a peace order ordinance. So I'm not sure if it's I'm not test, but it could be, but I'm getting like some type of peace ordinance or I don't know why the word loitering is coming up. I'm not sure. Something with a union. So it could be some type of strike as well. Um, and some type of big business or entity or deity government-wise is being exposed. Yeah, somebody had a baby on somebody. That could be celebrity stuff right there. But anyway. <sighs> I appreciate y'all for watching. Please hit that like button and I'll see y'all on the next video. Identify Fire Island Jane Doe as Karen Vergata, who was 34 years old. After one victim is identified in the Long Island serial killer case, an identification could be coming for other victims found. Vergata and the larger picture of the Gilgo Beach murders is former FBI Special Agent and News Nation's Law and Justice contributor.